Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Elon Musk and Tesla fans ramp up pressure for recognition from Biden, with ad and 50,000 petition signatures. Tesla releases new full self-driving beta software update, version 10.10, to remove rolling stop, address some edge cases, and more. NHTSA data shows increase in Tesla's phantom braking reports. And, Tesla Giga Texas continues to receive equipment for 4680 battery cells as production nears. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Elon Musk and Tesla fans are ramping up the pressure to get recognition from President Biden, who has had a clear problem acknowledging that Tesla is leading the electrification of the auto industry in the United States. Almost 50,000 Tesla supporters have signed a petition, and someone has even bought an ad about it on Times Square. The tension between the Biden administration and Musk has been growing for months now. The first major blow seems to have been the ceremony where President Biden signed a new executive order for 50% of new cars sold in the United States to be electric by 2030. Tesla wasn't invited, and both Musk and many Tesla fans took offense. However, the event was about the US automakers, like Ford and GM, committing to go 50% electric by 2030. Tesla is already all electric. But then the Biden administration, influenced by the United Auto Worker Union, pushed for reform of the electric vehicle tax credit to include an additional $4,500 credit per electric vehicle produced at a unionized factory. Some Tesla fans saw this as an attack on Tesla, since the company is the biggest US producer of electric vehicles and its workforce is not unionized. Musk later called out Biden for being controlled by unions. Things started to escalate from there when President Biden made the undoubtedly ridiculous statement that gave GM CEO Mary Barra credit for electrifying the entire auto industry. Biden and his administration have since made several similar claims and appeared to have an issue even mentioning Tesla when it came to electric vehicles, despite the company being the biggest electric vehicle producer in the country and a big part of the administration's plans to lower emissions. It led Musk to tweet this last week. Musk tweeted, starts with a T, ends with an A, ESL in the middle. Since that tweet, Tesla fans have ramped up their effort to get the president to acknowledge Tesla. A fan even bought ad space in Times Square to promote Musk's tweet. Someone going by poet from the stars even started a petition on change.org to have President Biden acknowledge Tesla's leadership in regards to electric vehicles. Almost 50,000 people have signed the petition in just a few days. It's pretty comical to be honest. Tesla is undeniably the leader in electric vehicles, especially in the United States, where over 60% of all electric vehicles have been made by the company. Not even mentioning Tesla in the conversation is ridiculous. Moving to the next update, Tesla releases new full self-driving beta software update, version 10.10 to remove rolling stop, address some edge cases, and more. Tesla has started releasing a new full self-driving beta software update, version 10.10, that includes several changes, including removing rolling stop, addressing some corner cases, and more. Since October 2020, Tesla has been slowly rolling out what it is calling full self-driving beta which is an early version of its self-driving software that is currently being tested by a fleet of Tesla owners selected by the company and through its safety test score. The software enables the vehicle to drive autonomously to a destination entered in the car's navigation system, but the driver needs to remain vigilant and ready to take control at all times. Since the responsibility lies with the driver and not Tesla's system, it is still considered a level 2 driver assist system, despite its name. It has been sort of a two steps forward, one step back type of program, as some updates have seen regressions in terms of the driving capabilities. Tesla has been frequently releasing new software updates to the FSD beta program and adding more owners to it. As of Q4 2021, the automaker said that it almost had 60,000 owners in the FSD beta program. Now, Tesla is releasing the new version of FSD Beta, 
and it includes several improvements, including the ability for the vehicle to use an upcoming lane to try to avoid an object on the road if it is deemed safe. This shows that Tesla is increasingly venturing into making sure that FSD can not only tackle regular driving maneuvers, but that it is also prepared for some rare corner cases. The 10.10 FSD beta update also rolls back the rolling stop feature as part of the NHTSA safety recall announced recently. This update came fairly quickly after 10.9 was rolled out only two weeks ago. Moving to the next update, NHTSA data shows increase in Tesla phantom braking reports. The number of incidents involving Tesla vehicles and phantom braking have increased substantially in recent months. Phantom braking is when the vehicle brakes unexpectedly and for no apparent reason while on autopilot. According to a review of National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, data by The Washington Post, 107 owners have complained about the issue in the last three months. That number might not sound like much, but only 34 complaints were received in the 22 months before that. The peak occurred in November, when the safety agency received 51 complaints, up from 13 in the previous month. The NHTSA received 32 and 24 complaints in December and January respectively. Using adaptive cruise control with autopilot steering, as well as without auto steer, multiple episodes of severe phantom braking, where the car slams on the brakes for no apparent reason. No other cars around. Flat, clear open freeway, said a Model Y owner, in a November complaint. The agency says they are looking into the issue and are in active discussions with Tesla about the complaints. NHTSA is aware of complaints received about forward collision avoidance and is reviewing them through our risk-based evaluation process. This process includes discussions with the manufacturer, as well as reviewing additional data sources, including early warning reporting data. If the data show that a risk may exist, NHTSA will act immediately, the agency stated. While unconfirmed, many are speculating, the increase in phantom braking issues is the result of Tesla's decision in May 2021 to ditch radar and rely on cameras for autopilot and other safety features. Based on information that Drive Tesla has received from owners who have experienced the issue, it often presents itself when a large truck approaches from the opposite direction on an undivided highway. Have you also experienced phantom braking in your Tesla? Let us know in the comments. Moving to the last update, Tesla Giga Texas continues to receive equipment for 4680 battery cells as production nears. Tesla Giga Texas continues to receive equipment to produce 4680 battery cells as the company plans to soon begin mass production of Model Y equipped with those new cells. Tesla's 4680 cells are one of the company's most important products as they reduce the cost of electric vehicles, increase their performance, and will also contribute to an even faster increase in the manufacturer's production capacity. After the Cato Road, Fremont, California facility, Tesla's first place to produce new battery cells will be Giga Texas. To this end, the company is actively installing production equipment. Recently, Giga Texas Construction Progress Observer, Peter Dog 15 on Twitter, shared a video that captured new equipment deliveries to the factory's battery shop. During the recent Q4 earnings call, CEO Elon Musk said that at the factory in Austin, the manufacturer is building cars with a structural battery pack and 4680 cells. Previously, it was assumed that the assembly of Model Y at Giga Texas would initially be using 2170 battery cells, while the first cars with new cells were slated to roll off the Giga Berlin assembly line. However, at some point, clearly the company changed its plan. So, in Texas, we're building the Model Ys with the structural battery pack and the 4680 cells, and we'll start delivering after final certification of the vehicle, which should be fairly soon," Musk said. At the end of last year, observers of the Giga Texas construction progress on several occasions spotted Model Y bodies without a bottom. This indicated that they were designed to install a structural battery pack using 4680 battery cells. 
It would be interesting to see when Tesla rolls out the first Model Ys, equipped with structural battery pack and 4680 cells. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.